The time has come that CPU manufacturers try to extract as much as performance possible from CPUs and there is no better way to do it than with the help of extra L3 cache. While there are only a handful of such chips in the market, we have seen how these processors increase the performance gap in gaming. It can be said that Ryzen 3D CPUs are so powerful that they are literally on par with AMD's own next generation CPUs without requiring any architectural upgrade. This is clear when the Ryzen 5800X 3D is compared against the Ryzen 7600X and it is quite possible that that the 7800X 3D will not be that far away from Ryzen 8000 3D CPUs. But what if this 3D vCache technology is equipped in gaming laptops? Well, that's something you might not have heard of until now, but thankfully this is coming true very soon. In fact, AMD has already manufactured a gaming laptop with such a CPU and in my opinion, this laptop is perhaps the fastest gaming laptop we have currently on the market today. As reported by the prominent leaker HXL, AMD prepared a gaming laptop with Ryzen 7945 HX 3D CPU. As you can see, see from the slide, it comes with 128MB of L3 cache which is double the L3 cache memory present on the non-3D 7945HX. Currently the 7945HX is the fastest Ryzen 7000 mobile chip in Dragon Range family and it comes with 16 cores and 32 threads. Not only it is blazing fast in gaming but is also a killer in productivity. Now by getting 3D cache memory, it is definitely going to see a big boost in gaming performance just like we saw going from 7950X to 7950X 3D. As far as other specs of the this laptop go, it was leaked via Lambda Tech which had a product page of a gaming laptop named Asus ROG Strix Car 17 that clearly mentions Ryzen 7945HX 3D, 32GB of DDR5 RAM and an RTX 4090. So considering that not only it has probably the fastest gaming CPU but also the fastest graphics card on the planet, it should be the fastest gaming laptop AMD has ever created. Of course it won't be cheap but this is something that will be marketed towards enthusiasts who have no problem in throwing a few hundred extra bucks. The laptop product page on Lambda Tech only existed for a while and was soon taken down. But it does indicate that AMD has been working on such a processor in silence and it should be ready to hit the market in various laptops very soon. It should be remembered that the Dragon Range CPUs are only good if you are considering productivity and gaming with a dedicated GPU. However, if you want a decent gaming performance without a discrete GPU, then Phoenix Point is the way to go. Unfortunately, despite performing absolutely good with integrated graphics, Phoenix APUs did not receive any driver updates for a long time. But this is not going to last for long as AMD has just released a driver update for Phoenix APUs. The new driver is 23.7.2 which officially supports the Ryzen 7040 Phoenix APUs. Apart from that, this driver fixes several bugs and issues like stuttering in COD Modern Warfare 2, higher VRAM utilization, higher idle power and many more. As far as Phoenix APUs go, all the Radeon 700M graphics like the 740M, 760M and 780M are now supported and this means that users who own a Phoenix Point based laptop should definitely see some improvements in gaming performance. However, Video Cards reports that ASUS ROG Li, which works on the same architecture, did not receive this update. Though it is possible that the new driver might work for Li, but it is not official. Now moving on to Intel, once again it has made improvements on the ARC GPUs. It has delivered another Mesa update for Linux operating systems on 21st of this month and thankfully Foronix has just benchmarked some games with the newer update. And these benchmarks show that ARC GPUs are now performing slightly better than before. In Counter Strike we can see a good 10% boost compared to the previous update while Cyberpunk retains its performance. In some programs the new driver update has little to no effect on performance but in VK Mark Render the program sees a good 35% performance uplift. So not a huge deal breaker for now but this has been going pretty well with every new update and I just want to see similar performance uplifts on Windows operating systems which are more common amongst gamers. At this point not only Intel is focused in maturing its drivers but is constantly adding more products in its Arc lineup. For instance we saw a brand new Arc A750M GPU in Ashes of the Singularity benchmark that was coupled with the Core i5 13500H. Now the performance isn't impressive at all but we know that this benchmark can be pretty inaccurate at times. Another GPU which Intel recently added to the Alchemist family is the Arc A310. This is the most basic low profile GPU for basic purposes and even though this is not the first time we are hearing about this GPU, what's interesting is that more and more AIBs are coming forward to make their own A310 card. Last year we saw Gigabyte making its own A310 WinForce edition followed by Matrox and Sparkle. Now it is MSI that has manufactured a 2 fan low profile A310 that was shared by a YouTuber. So from low profile to mid range, all that is left for Intel to 
cover is the tier 1 cards that can compete with the high end Nvidia and AMD GPUs. It shouldn't be surprising to know that this won't be achievable with the Alchemist family, but it is pretty much possible with Intel's Battle Mage series that is supposedly releasing next year. As far as Nvidia's next gen GPUs are concerned, they won't be arriving before 2025. But still, they are not exactly one year late as we heard before. Watch this video to know more about RTX 5000 cards launch and how Intel can use this time to make a comeback. Lastly, let me know your thoughts about the stories I shared in today's video and subscribe for more content like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any future uploads and I will see you in the next one.